All right, I'll, I'll call this meeting to order on um, March 12th, 2021. And Trevor, can you read the... Sure. Um, great, so welcome uh, welcome to the Deerfield Board of Health Select Board meeting for March 12th, 2021 at 3 p.m. It's 3.04 p.m. The main meeting room and municipal offices at 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield, Mass. Meetings normally held at the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with the governor's March 12th, 2020 order, suspending certain provisions of the Open Meeting Law, Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 20. You'll note it's full year today that we're under this governor's order. Um, meetings are typically broadcast under front, on Frontier Community Access Television. Remote meeting connections are listed below. And when I say below, you can go to our town website. Down to the right, you'll see the calendar and all of our upcoming meetings. You can click on the select board meeting for today and have a copy of the agenda. On that agenda, there'll be a phone number to dial in at 312-626-6799. The meeting ID is 911-604-1580. Should you need the passcode, it is 570012. And on that agenda, you'll also see a link to this meeting via Zoom. So you can click on that. Uh, meeting attendees should mute their phones, which is star six for landlines, unless asking a question or commenting. All attendees should wait to speak until other participants are finished. Um, so our agenda tonight, um, today, is um, a couple of items. We have an executive session that we'll enter into, and I'll read that motion in a minute. And then we will come back out of executive session to public session to deal with two items that are unanticipated within the last 48 hours. Um, so um, if, uh, if Carolyn could declare that there is a quorum present. There is a quorum and I, as, and I so declare that we should go into executive session. Okay, so pursuant to Mass General Law, chapter 30A, section 21A, Three, the select board will enter into executive session to discuss strategy with respect to litigation, namely uh, Bordani dash Crowley et al. Uh, v. South Deerfield uh, DG Series LLC et al. Commonwealth of Massachusetts Housing Court Department of the Trial Court Western Division, docket number 21H79C v. 000088 and uh, South Deerfield DG Series LLC v. Sadowski et al. Commonwealth of Massachusetts Land Court Docket Number 21 Miscellaneous or MIS, MISC 000092 uh, MDV uh, as the chair declares that an open meeting could have a detrimental effect on the litigation position of the public body and the select board board of health will return to open session at the conclusion of the executive session. Do we have a second? I second that. Thank you, Carolyn. Um, all those in, or any other discussion? All oh. those in. Oh, Dave's just came. Okay. Hi, Dave. We're just voting on um, going into executive session. So okay. I've made the motion, uh, Dave, for uh, going into executive session, and then we will return to public session to deal with a couple of items after that. Um, and, I so, and I second it. Uh, so all those in favor? Dave Aye, Carolyn Ness. Aye, Dave Wolfram. Thank you. Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Great, and so we will be um, inviting into executive session, um, and I'm not sure if I had to have that in the motion, but <laughs> inviting Casey Warren, town administrator, and Adam Costa, our town attorney. And I think that's all we need, right, today? Yeah, okay. So um, I think Casey will be creating a, a room for us to enter into, so we will click on that when we see it, and then be in uh, executive session, and we will return after and we can talk about when you when you return, you just leave the room, not leave the meeting. So you'll 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 see that come up. And so we had two items unanticipated. Is that where you're ready to go, or do you want me to? Is there anything? No, just good. no, just go ahead. Yeah. So I had sent this out under separate 
cover in an email we received um, a letter of resignation from Meg Ryan. Uh, the Board of Oversight addressed that yesterday afternoon at their meeting. And so I brought it to your attention as an item unanticipated because I, I didn't know what they were going to say. And so they recommended the board to address it. Um, and we also have a personnel issue that we need to start an investigation on because it, it, we just, we need to develop the facts on something. So um, I'm asking the board to authorize an investigation pursuant to the recommendation from the board of oversight. Sorry, that sounded confusing. No, that's right. So I, I, I would make a motion to accept the resignation um, of Meg Ryan and thank her um, tremendously for her work with outreach to seniors um, and wish her all the best. And then, um, so I'll do that first. So make that motion first. I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. From aye. Aye, Carolyn Ness. Thank you. And then I would make a motion to um, to um, to approve um, Casey to. Authorize. Oh, authorize. excuse me. I would authorize Casey to um, facilitate to facilitate an investigation how she sees fit uh, into the personnel matters. Okay. I'll second that. <laughs> Sorry. Well, all those in favor? Any other discussion on those items? Uh, at least we don't have a five minute delay on Carolyn this year. I know. Oh, See, right now that my computer's fixed, I got the sun blocking me here. <laughs> I know. There's no, there's no delay now. <laughs> no, it is good. That was tough last time. Okay, so all those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Dave Wolfram. Aye, Carolyn Ness. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we we had Northeast IT put a new processor in Carolyn's computer. And man, we to him, it's going to work, right? <laughs> it works. <laughs> yes. So I'm glad it works, Carolyn. That is yeah. great. Yeah, because that was I know that frustrating for you. It was like a 10 second delay and Oh, oh. That's so bad. Well, yeah. it makes it crazy to, you know, go to a meeting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Sure. Um Let's see. So I just, you know, real quickly, uh, while we are all in a meeting, um, I do for our next meeting at some point, I, there's a couple things I still want to hit on is meeting with DOT and then a meeting with, um, and then I want to have you guys review that thing I keep sending about the um, hiring um, uh, Berkshire design. Um, yes. I don't know. Have you all seen, can I share something with you? I know we're not discussing or voting on anything. I just wanted to, to share something with you real quick. If select I select board I, comments I, is what I would call that. Yes. This is a select board comment. Um, bear with me one moment. I just want to go. Trevor, to... there was some confusion, um, um, at our CIPC meeting the, um, the other night on what, what the timeline is on all this. Yeah. Um, and it got pushed out, and so it did. It did. And I, and I, I don't I, know if that was correct or not. So I just yeah, to that is correct. It. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so I was gonna uh, let me just tell you a little bit about. Um, I can open this here. So I had a you meeting. Should last be able night. to share screen. Yes, I'm gonna do that. So I had a, a meeting last night with um, with the uh, the town common ad hoc committee, and with uh, Jeff Steyer from. Um, from Berkshire Design. So we've approved him to start finalizing the plan for the common. And then I am asking uh, the select board to uh, allow us to hire them to do a, a, a broader design of the center of town and Elm Street and, you know, the other projects that we want to tie into around the common. Um, and let's just see if I can share a screen. So this is just, can, again, can this we, is- Can this we is just kind of, have- I know we're not supposed to be making a decision, but I would like to make sure we're encompassing the Leary lot on this. Yes, that's the whole idea. Yep. Yeah. Because, that. um, it's the town there's, hall there's, area, the senior center area, the, you know, the, the Elm Street, the, you know, all the projects we've been talking about. I wanted to enlist them to kind of come up with a, a more master of a, plan, a master kind of design of not master plan in the sense of like the whole town, but just kind of downtown and our projects that we're working on to have them be consistent and 
thought out so we're not doing one thing over here and realizing it's not well, attached. Well, we want to make sure that the parking lot that we're paving yep. over is in the correct place. Yep. We want to make sure that it ties in with what we want to do with the walkway around, you know, for seniors, a, a, a yes. walk around our property um, so that there's this, uh, you know, you know, not, I don't even know what you call it, but just, you know, athletic, you know, some of those stations that are supposed to be put around, you know, all kinds of stuff. Yes. So this is a look at how the common um, may turn out to look. I'm just gonna blow this up a little bit. So you can see the crosswalk now over to Cheslick's, not in a safe spot. We wanna move that down to the end of the sidewalk where it's safer to get over to, to Leary Lot. Um, we um, will also facilitate a sidewalk going across the street in the kind of the same location and get rid of the one in between cars. Um, We'll move the war memorial a bit here. And then there's another one that'll loop back around to the main crosswalks over here. Uh, there'll be a kind of a little bit of a sitting wall here. This is granite steps here. These are metal balliards here. Uh, there's brick that goes around the outside of the common. Um, and there's access over to Grave Street over here, a possible one over kind of the Fishers or Daylily or, you know, um, Primos, kind of that area there. So you have multiple access uh, across from Grave Street um, and from Main Street, Sugarloaf Street, over to the Common, and we've we've kind of grown this area around here, around the com around the fountain. The fountain will be lowered a bit um, and and not as deep, so it's not going to be a a, 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 a um, hazard for drowning in. Just thinner, um, and then benches here along a like sitting area, a lot of places to walk and sit and gather um, and put out chairs and have a concert and all kinds of different things. We know this is not a big park. You can't do large things here, but when we have, you know, small events or when people just want to get together and when we welcome Megan back to the town, when we, you know, different things, when we do our Memorial Day thing, um, our Veterans Day. So there's different events that we can hold here that are not large, but um, we hope to have another park to do large things, but just safer to walk on, prettier to look like, look at. Um, these small little short walls here will have welcome to Deerfield. So when you're pulling in or, you know, set, build, set, kind of welcome Deerfield. Um, to Deerfield in these kind of areas. So just a little nicer to look at, um, less maintenance, irrigation, so people aren't watering constantly. You know, we have water that goes to the site that's gravity fed. We can use that here and there to do some irrigation, some safe walkways. Um, so that's kind of just the start of what we're looking at. And we want that, you know, this kind of, this kind of area will be a kind of a theme for every kind of crosswalk that we go it will have some sort of similar materials used around town so it all looks like it's the same thing and I'd love to see Elm Street developed like this so it has a nice design and everything's kind of tied together um, I'd so love to have the Leary lot like this too exactly yep and so you'll notice this common is bigger than it is right now so if you look at these diagonal lines here these dotted lines that's really the town property of the common um, and right now the common is back here when this hard line is. So we're going to take back some of that here and, um, and, you know, we could take a ton of land over here, but we're not, that's kind of where Kevin plows and puts some snow and stuff. And that's really down the road. Um, but, but, you know, we own, you know, we're out into, into the, into the road a bit more of where our common is. The common kind of got switched over the years, you know, it's been, 300 years, right? So it just kind of moves around a little bit. But so we want to take a little bit more. We want to take these several parking spots that are over here and add a bit to the park to give a little more room for this space here. Um, some trees in and that kind of thing. So we'll have more of a presentation, but we'd like to bring this kind of design detail to the rest of our town. And that's what I'm hoping uh, Berkshire can do for us, to at least be a partner. So do you have enough money for that now, Trevor, or are you asking no, us? No, I will need, um, yeah, I don't have enough money to do the, the 
I don't, not in our budget right now. I had enough money to do all the common stuff, but I don't have enough money to do. I think it's like 10 or 20, I think it's like 10,000, right? I'm trying to think it was like 10 right, or right, 11,000 yeah. to do the, um, to do more of a plan for downtown. Now it's not going to be everything that this is, but it's an initial first kind of look. Um, and I can send it to you again, but if you read it, it just kind of lists out a blueprint for how we get started. And then I'm sure there'll be other costs to do more in depth drawing for the rest of this stuff. Well, can you put it on the agenda for the 24th then, Casey? Yep. So that I was can... gonna do that. Great. Or actually, actually, no, it should be on the agenda for the 20 through the 16th. Dave, are you coming the 16th? Why the 16th, Carolyn? It's it's really, that's really just to sit in the finance committee meeting. Yeah, but we have, we're starting a few minutes early. So all we have to do is vote this. I don't think there's any, and, th and then that way it can go to the CIPC because it has to go, has to get into the queue so that we can approve it for this year. It needs to, it then, should go to the town meeting this year. And then the, and then the larger cost for this project, you know, I had 55,000 in there. That was a kind of a legacy number from multiple kind of ideas way back. Um, I've asked Jeff to put something together, hopefully before our next meeting with CIPC. Maybe it won't be that next one, but before we get to town meeting, certainly, you know, just to kind of give a two year plan, like this is gonna cost this much and this is what it should be in the schedule for. And then we can decide what year we can start working on it. Um, right. But I, I, I think we want to go forward with this because the problem is we don't have a master plan right. for it pulls everything together. So mm -hmm. if we have that, I want to get that done in case we have the opportunity for economic development on the Leary lot and with yeah. Sher Brew and, and the businesses along Elm Street. It's yep. really important because again, we need to be ready for that. Yep. Yep. And um and I don't I don't want to keep I don't want to keep doing these patch patchwork kind of stuff. We need yep. a big picture mm -hmm. that pulls everything together. And I think it's very important that we talk about using the same materials and the same, you know, ideas that uh, design ideas that will pull everything together. Yeah. And and and, and uh, the livability um, grants for the seniors. We could maybe we could do that pathway that's around you know, that connects the senior center with the library mm -hmm. and then goes up to the elementary school and then curves around. Maybe yeah, we yeah. can do that part of it, but yeah. we should have a major design and we don't want to, and if we're, we voted or the, the CIPC is probably going to recommend the paving of, around the town hall. So I don't want to put the paving in if, I don't either. if we're, if, if we don't have a big picture on where the, is the paving in the right place. Exactly. I need a better plan to just yep. go and pave and then to go, oh, well, we're gonna cut it all out now and change it. So I just want a better idea of how it's gonna look. I mean, I, I think we're, I think we, a... I, I, no, we need to do the paving, but we, I don't wanna do it until we have a plan, but we, we, we already are saying we're gonna invest in like a couple of those trees to mm -hmm. save those trees and inject them with all kinds of stuff and, you know, chain them up and all that. Okay, but what about the other trees? Right. You know, where are we, we should, if we're going to cut down a couple of trees, we should be planting a couple of trees. So where right. do we want to plant them? Yep. You know, and, and you can plant a smaller tree as long as you just get it in the ground and get going on it. And right. I don't want it to be 10 years from now. Oh, this is where we want the tree or yep. we put it in the wrong spot. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I can get Jeff to come and explain at a meeting. So whenever you, whenever we decide, you know, if it's the 24th or whatever, or whenever, I mean, I think even if we approved it, have him come back and talk about, you know, so he can hear from you all too. He's only heard from me, but Casey, Casey, go ahead. You have your hand up. Well, there's a couple things that we just need to keep in mind. Um, first, the time frame for this, I, I would like to have a conversation with Jeff Squire about this because there's some things out there that I'm, mm -hmm. so we have a contract for the Leary lot design with another engineering firm that has to, if we're going to do some sort of consolidated thing, we need to keep that in mind. So there's yep. other elements yep. that we need to sort of facilitate before or know how to facilitate before the board says go. The other piece of this is, is do we have money so that we can get it started 
before we get to town meeting because it sounds to me like okay. Carolyn wants to move fairly fast on it. Mm -hmm. But keep in well, mind, if we don't include the public and sort of do some of that that right. information gathering, it's going to be hard later on. So yes. I, I don't know what kind of time frame you're looking at, Carolyn, but we do well, need to, to make some, some of the projects. Some of the projects that we're approving should be incorporated in this big plan before we spend any money on those big projects, like the paving. I, I we're putting additional paving in and we're going to pay do all this parking. Well, maybe that's not what we want. I mean, where mm -hmm. we want. I'm not saying we don't want it, but yeah. You know, I, I just, just think wanna, that's I a bigger don't conversation. Waste any, yeah, I don't want to waste any money. And, mm -hmm. and the best thing to do is have an overall plan, even if it's not very detailed. That's right. why I'm not it doesn't have to be as detailed. It just needs to be kind of somewhat thought out and brought together on a large sheet so we can go, you know, and it can change. That's fine. But as long as we have when some we had a year ago, we a year ago for our charrette, you know, at the, you know, we did our climate change thing. We had mm -hmm. all these people have all this input into the original, you know, what do you want downtown? Yep. How do you make it more livability, the livability increase, the walkability increase, the sociability increase? Everybody had these great ideas. And so we just need to follow up on that and have another, you know, mm -hmm. I know it's so hard on Zoom, but we just need to have another input like that with this design firm just to make yep. sure yep. that we're not doing something stupid like cutting down trees and putting in paving and then not doing the right thing to keep moving on. That's right. all. So that has an effect on some of the other projects that we've put forward, like sidewalks. If yep, you wanted to, does. if this is an element of pulling things together, if this is the intent, then we pull yep. all those things together. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. So I would, like, so I will add this, I have to change the agenda and they'll probably post it Monday for the 16th. Okay. We'll have to do a revised agenda for that. Yeah. Um, well, we had put one thing on, but if you want this, Carolyn, I need to revise the agenda. I know, but I it just to me, it's worth a couple minutes just to vote and say, go ahead with, um, you know, move this to the CIPC so that we can keep working on it. And I mean, it's just, it makes sense. We got these, you know, tree boxes. We've got these rain gardens we're trying to do. And, we're do, and everything needs to be pulled together. I agree. You know? and, I, and I, so I would well, suggest that we, I would suggest that the board consider attending the CIPC meeting on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. well, then so that you have, because you won't, so you have a packed meeting on the 24th. It's starting to get full. Um, well, having Jeff come in and visit with you makes a lot of sense, but we got a few other things we got to take into account yep. just from an, from an operational perspective. And I think CIPC is going to want to hear from you all about it. Yep. That's fine. Just my I, take on attending that. their meetings. I, well, I want to be there. I want to talk to them. I just, I, I want to do it with some, a plan. Yeah. Well, of it makes, yeah. And more solid numbers. Well, it, and you just don't want to waste money. We don't have very much money. So every dollar should. Uh, I don't money. disagree. I just think they're going to have questions. So I think you guys. That's fine. If you can. I'll Easy. add it to the 16th. Um, yep. We may need to get more information from Jeff, but there is a lot of moving parts to pull together. So all I'm yep. trying to caution everybody about is it may not happen like that. I, I, I understand. I'm fine. I just want, I just want and to- And it invest. could slow down the ask. The That's ask fine. That we've I know. Done. I just want to make sure that we can, we can get a hold of these guys to say, help us with pulling all this together. It may not happen right away. We may not have to- you know, it may take time, but at least starting the process of having a facility, you know, a, a, an entity that can affirm that can help it a lot like Cricket has done with our sewer. I mean, it's just, you know, you have a partner to help us shepherd these big projects through. And I think it's important to do that. Well, and, and this is the first step. We'll never get money in, and you get grants this. to support this if we don't have the big plan. Or mm -hmm. we don't have a plan at least started and, yeah. and that you can fill in the details pretty quick because then you you never were going to make any grant deadlines. Yep. I know that sounds awful, but, you know, people complain that we, you know, you have to 
money and you got to be able to when the money's available you got to do it and i i I have to say i think there's going to be money available under you know these economic and infrastructure projects that are coming and we need that we need to get our culvert studies done i've been Mm -hmm. You know, FERC has got to get off the dime and do our culvert. They owe us two years ago from that, and they need mm-hmm. to do that because um, we we have to be in a position to you know say these four you know ten culverts are our top priority and they need to be replaced. And it's you know six million bucks because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars per culvert. So yep. they're ready to go when you get this coming down the pike. Okay, that's it. I didn't mean to kind of. Yeah, no, I know. I didn't mean to ramp I just, it up. But I just wanted to kind of keep mentioning that I'd love to have us uh, approve that. So if we can get it on the agenda and, you know, if you need it again, I can send it again. But um, well, it needs so to go on the agenda. The that, yeah, but I, I, don't want, it, right? I don't want to vote on it unless Dave is there to vote on I, it. I agree. I agree. We need to do it together. I don't oh, want to feel. Yeah. Yeah. So if. I'm not sure that Dave is there on the 16th, so it might have okay, to Okay, so we'll wait then, whatever it takes. I don't mind waiting. I just no, want to make sure. I don't sure. have my calendar in front of me, so yeah. I don't know. We'll check later. That's fine. There's no super rush. I just wanted to. Casey, either the 16th or the 24th, depending on Dave's schedule, okay? Okay, I will check. I don't want us to vote on something that Dave isn't participating in. Absolutely. No, we all have to be there, so. Okay. Okay. And then we have one other announcement, right, Trevor? We have the North Main Street Park, or I said that right. North oh. Main Street Park information session is the 18th at six o'clock. Yes. yes. And I just wanted to get it out there because we are trying, we had some challenges with vaccinations, setting oh. a date for that meeting. Initially, we were going to change it, but because we may have vaccinations coming in on a date that we had chosen, um, we made a decision, and I worked with Carolyn pretty closely on this. Is we made a decision to, my suggestion was to have it on the 18th after we realized that we could have vaccinations around that date, you know, yeah, before we, and after. So, yeah, it's going to be the 17th. I just 17th want the public to know that it wasn't an easy decision to actually settle on that date, but with vaccinations, and we participate well, pretty heavily you know, in the county. So, we, yeah, we still to don't know. We just still we, don't know if the vaccine, you know, the a vaccine is coming in. Yeah, we do know. But we may. We do know. Let me. Yeah, we do know. So we do. Well, as far as I'm aware, we have uh, a vaccination clinic being done on the 17th, um, from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., and Saturday the 20th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So the vaccine came in. With 850 doses. 850 doses. Okay. For next week. But that's yeah. for the county, right, Trevor? That's for, uh, yeah, so we just got noticed that, that uh, we are getting all we asked for for next week. It will be Johnson & Johnson. We will be fine-tuning the hours um, of the vaccination, you know, how many volunteers are needed and all that stuff. And so things will still change, but as of now, uh, we're looking at Wednesday and Saturday. Okay, so could you say the hours again? Because I didn't yep. get it yet. Wednesday, Wednesday, and this again may change again, but so just what they were planning for was um, the uh, 17th uh, from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. and okay. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Saturday right. the 20th. So that's that's kind of where they're at at the moment, and we'll see if you know anything else happens, but that that's what they're planning for. You know, and that, I think we're doing, we're trying to, I think, do a lot of teachers that, that day. Uh, um, as far as I know, I verified that um, it, it, the priority is teachers, but if you are eligible. That's um, right. Then that's right. If, if over 65, you can go. You can't turn get, people away. Yep. Right. But the whole idea is to get the teachers. The link, the link is coming out at six o'clock on the FERCOG website. Um, and people had really good experience getting on earlier. And then yes, sign on early and wait. wait. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So those will be done at, at Treehouse. So okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I think Trevor, can you have. send that information to me? Sure. Yeah, I, and again, there'll, there'll be more information and clearer. I think this was just a quick note, uh, but I will send you what I have. Um, it, it went to. Can you send it? Can you please send it to me? Well, you, because I think you got this as well. 
Um, was it an yeah. email? It was from Tracy. Yep, an email from Tracy. To oh, Carolyn. I just, I'm not on my email. I'm not this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Because so, I was waiting to. He multitasks, Carolyn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should have two computers up. Yes. Yeah. Um, so anyway. Um, but I can forward it again because I'm not sure if Casey got it. So I will forward it. I got to, I'll be calling people for volunteering. So. Um, yeah, you, check with Tracy because I think she may have it, but she'll reach out to you with who she, how much she needs. Yep, for sure. Um, and I'll send this to Casey. Um, Casey, do you, is it town administrator or, or Casey? It's town admin. Okay, great. Got it. Okay, sounds good. And I've got your time thing I'll leave on your desk. And you. we're good. Okay. okay. Yep. Casey worked again three hours in one week. I mean, three, three weeks in one week. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you for all you're doing, Casey. It's just amazing. I know. How much you're pulling I, together. Yes. yes it is a team effort. It, yes, all, it is a team effort. We great. I'm sorry that everybody. it's. I'm sorry yeah. that it's so many hours. So this great is, leader. Yeah. It's been, Fine. We will figure it out eventually. I will yes. take a vacation. Oh, which reminds yes. me, I actually booked a weekend away in June. Yes. <laughs> I'll send you an email. In June. In June. <laughs> in right. June. Good for you. After I town meeting. Jennifer. After town meeting. It is after town meeting. Um, okay. I said to Jennifer, we need a Google Calendar. Because yeah, I can't keep everybody's I know. meetings straight anymore. Yep, <laughs> so, it is a lot. Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. Um, okay. It is serious, keeping everybody's meetings straight. I know, yeah. it's tough. It's not easy. Yeah. Well, make All a motion right. to adjourn. I'll second it. All right, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Have a good night, uh, Trevor McDaniel, aye. Dave Wolfram, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye -bye. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.